Hey guys, it's Di and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a huge clear out of my makeup drawer and my makeup. I have been going around my house in different areas and clearing things out and organizing using the Kamari method, which everything needs to spark joy and be useful. And that's the whole kind of point of the method if you haven't heard of it before. I have other videos down below for other kind of different topic areas and you guys can check those out. But today we are gonna be looking at my makeup. And I love makeup, makeup brings me joy. I put on my makeup every every day, even if we're in quarantine. So let me show you where my makeup is at here in our master bathroom. And I have like a little built-in vanity area. So welcome to our master bathroom. We have this large vanity area over here and this is my side. All of the stuff on this side and then all of these drawers are mine as well. I have this area down here which I keep a lot of my nail supplies and things like that, extra sponge gels down there. And then in this area right here in the center, I actually have a kind of little extra drawer that I use as my vanity area and for all of my makeup. Well, a lot of my makeup. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a second. But I keep all of my most used items here. You can see I've kind of put a couple of things up here, so we're gonna remedy that today. I also just received a couple of things, so we're gonna be making spots for this. This is my new Jo Malone perfume and a couple new lip glows, which I got as well. And then I want to just basically clear this out, make sure it's my most used items, items that are sparking joy, items that are not too old to be used, and just really kind of give it a good cleaning and organization. So this is the area that we're gonna be working on today. And then I also have in this area over here, there is a kind of linen cabinet over here. I do have towels and things like that, but back here, peeking in this corner, I have just a little extra basket of makeup that has gotten moved from other houses. So I'm gonna dig this out and just make sure, well, one, that it just needs to get cleared out in general, and then if anything in there is usable, then it needs to be out of this basket. So now that I have everything out here, this is really the main area that I'm gonna be working in and if you watch my older makeup video you can tell that this is actually a lot less makeup than I had to go through on the initial video so that's actually a very good thing but makeup brings me joy so it is continually something that I have to clear out I'm gonna grab the trash can and put it up here for items that I need to clear out so that it'll be over there to the side and then I really just want to go through and see like some of this is not even makeup it's sunglasses so those need to get put in sunglasses and then there's just a few things like some little makeup things that I've gotten, you know, through the years. So I just need to go through all this and if I don't need it, then it can get donated or tossed or wherever it needs to go. So, um, oh, poor said Disney Cruise Line. They're not running right now. So down inside here, there is a couple older sponges. I just got a brand new one for Christmas, this really cute beauty blender. Um, and so that's obviously the one I wanna use. So these older ones are kind of dirty and grubby. We're gonna get rid of those. This is also an older physician's formula kind of heart powder. I'm gonna get rid of that too. And then there's a Laura Mercier smoothing finish fluid. I used to use this all the time, but I'm going to get rid of this because I know it's probably way too old for my skin. So that was easy. That was actually everything in that basket. And um, there are two old, wow, that's really old, uh, old lip glow. This is in 006. It's like a plum color. That's really, really old. And I have these two new ones. So I'm going to toss that. Same thing with this hourglass. I don't even know when I would have bought this and it's kind of broken on the top, so that's gonna get thrown away. Now, the one thing I am gonna keep, and I really, really love this, this brings me joy. This was from a limited release, and actually, someone, one of my subscribers was actually the person that sent this to me. It's got this really pretty area here where their butterfly opens up, but most importantly, I love Urban Decay eyeshadow, and it's got a couple colors that you can only find in this kit. Gone Mad and Dream On are two of my favorite colors in here, as well as Mirror, and you can only get them in this. So this, I wanna figure out a way to kinda of keep this, store this on the shelf, and make sure that I keep that because I have a couple colors in there that I wanna keep. These, we're just gonna donate because I clearly don't use them. <laughs> that leaves the drawer. So actually, this is going quicker than I thought, but I do have a couple of things sitting up here that I'm gonna have to make some decisions about too. So we will tackle these as well. 
because they were just sitting on this tray and I really don't need this extra tray sitting up here. So let's dive in. So down here, I um, got this brush set. I think I'm actually just going to, I have two girls, so I think I'm actually just gonna give them this brush to put into their brush set because they're starting to kind of work with their makeup and I can donate that because they don't really need the travel kit because they don't take their makeup out anywhere. I've got a couple of these little buxom glosses. These are older, so I'm gonna toss those. And then way in the back here, let's see what's in here. There is a NARS. This is Angelica. I do still really like that color. There is a TARDIS um, highlight palette. Now, I really like Tarte brand. I think I got that like a FabFitFun box or something. This is Stunner. This is what I use almost every day and it's a really, really beautiful color. So out of this, I like Gleam, but it's older, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. There's also a Milani Baked Blush. I don't really love that color, so I'm gonna toss that too. This is actually going quicker and easier than I thought it was going to. There's these Hello Cheekbones. It's got the Radiance Highlighter from It Cosmetics. I actually got this as a free gift with this brush, but I don't really care for the matte bronzer, but I do really like the Radiance Highlighter. So I'm gonna keep this for now for the Radiance Highlighter and just use the top of the brush. Their brushes are really, really great, just to share um, if you haven't used their brushes before. Also, I got this, I think is a free gift. If you order from their website, they send you free gift almost every single time. And this, this is a healthy flush blushing bronzer. It's kind of in a peachy color. I don't really think I'm gonna use that, so I'm gonna to toss that. And I got it as a free gift, so it's kind of one of those no harm, no foul things. These are from the Disney Designer Collection from ColourPop. Super, super cute, but those are at least a year old because I got them for Christmas last year, so I'm gonna to toss those. Lip gloss really does not last all that long. I also have some of the eyeshadows from the Disney Collection, and I really, really like these. These are the colors, so this is Love and Almost There, and I'm gonna go ahead and keep both of those. And I'm gonna wipe down this whole drawer too after I um, get the stuff out of here, but we'll just go through everything first. So these are my eyelash curlers. I use that every single day. This is my primer, I use that every single day. This is my eyeshadow primer. I use this every single day, but this is a new one, so I'm gonna keep that one and toss the old one, which was basically empty. There is an It Brow Powder. This was another thing that I got um, as a free gift, and I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that because I was actually wanting to try that. This is an older Bare Essentials brush. It looks like it's seen better days, so we're gonna to toss that. This is the It Powder brush that goes with that. Down in the top here, I have a number of foundations. The Laura Mercier foundation, this is in Cashew. The CC Plus cream and the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer. I also have two Tarte in two different colors. Fair light neutral and light neutral. So this is depending on what season it is. Actually, believe it or not, all of these are still things that I reach for occasionally. Although my most used foundation is sitting up on the counter and I will show you that. I also use this Celebration Foundation. It's an illuminating foundation, it's in a powder, and that's like what I use for touch-ups. So I'm gonna put that right there. I have my most used foundation, it's just like sitting on the counter. This is Bye Bye Foundation, I use that every single day. This is CC Plus Cream and this is in light, so this is what I'd wear more in the summer and the CC Plus is in light, fair light. So those are the two different shades that I wear of that, so I'm gonna stick those together. This is a Tarte sample that I got of Double Duty Beauty for hydrating primer. I'll put that over here by my other primer so I can use that up. I also have these blotting cloths which get used occasionally. And another sample, like I said, it Cosmetics sends you a lot of samples when you order from them. Uh, one of their powders, but I actually got this one and I really, really am liking it, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that one. Down inside here, the two eyeshadows I like are Urban Decay and Tarte. So this one is a great neutral palette. This is the Rainforest of the Sea palette. I do use that one quite a bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and hang on to that. And then lastly, in this area, there is a Tarte 
Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush, but I don't really love that color, so I'm gonna toss that. So now that this is cleared out, I'm gonna go ahead and take everything and put it over here and wipe it down, and then I'll take the tray and um, get it out as well. It kind of helps to keep everything clean. I do this occasionally. So I'm just gonna get, pretty much there's not a lot of things that drop in here, but there are a couple like just rogue hairs and a little bit of powder and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna get everything out and then I can put everything I'm gonna keep in there. So you can see there was a little bit of makeup there. And then just make sure that this is nice and clean. So now that that side's clean, I'm gonna put all of this stuff back in there. I'm gonna put these different foundations that I use for different occasions down in here. These I use a lot if I'm gonna be at work for like a long time, like all day long, but obviously we're working at home right now. Same with these. I'll use these a lot in the winter. This Bye Bye foundation is the one I use the most right now. And then this I use a lot when we go to the pool in the summer. And then this is occasionally used eyeshadow. This is my primer I use all the time. So I'm gonna put all my primers over there by my most used. My eyeshadow primer and a couple of brushes, which we'll kind of address those in a little bit too. So I have some brush areas that I wanna go through. So this makes it a lot more organized too. So I am gonna go ahead and lift this whole tray out so I can clean underneath where it was. And just get the whole thing wiped down. You can see there's a little bit more makeup and everything on this side of the drawer. Just cause it's a little bit closer to where I would be doing my makeup. So I'm gonna get this all wiped out and make sure it is cleaned and I'm gonna wipe down the tray as well. So I got this part of the drawer all nice and wiped down. And what I'm gonna do since I have this basket sitting here is I'm actually just gonna take all of this stuff, whoops, except for that apparently, and that. I'm gonna take all of this stuff and just set it here in the basket. This is old, that can get thrown away because I just got a new one. And then I can wipe out this tray. And you can see this tray actually really takes the brunt of it. And I've had this tray on my vanity for years. It really helps keep whatever the surface of the vanity you're using, it helps keep it a lot cleaner. So I'm gonna take all this little stuff out. There's holes in the side of the basket. Everything keeps sliding through the holes. And then after I wipe this tray down, you can see it's gotten pretty icky. Then we can go through everything that was down inside the tray and see what deserves to go back in. So this tray is looking much better. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the drawer now that the drawer has been cleaned out, the tray has been cleaned out, and then we can organize what's gonna go inside the tray. Just in case anyone's curious, I've had this tray for eons. I absolutely love it. I think it's a really cool color. I think I got it at Target, but I got it at Target like literally since before I had the kids. So um, I have not seen anything exactly like this in recent years, um, but it's a really cool tray. So if you like this idea, you can probably find some at Target or the container store and I found that it works really really well to kind of set this with all the powder stuff in it like your eyeshadow and your lipstick and it helps kind of keep the mess in the tray which works great. So now's where things start to get a little tougher and I am going to kind of wipe everything off before I put it back in there. So now I have to go through all of this stuff and theoretically it should be all of my most used stuff. So this is a blush. I really, really liked this brush. I probably should not even clean that. It is from It Cosmetics. It's carefree, but it's about gone, as you can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss that, and I can always get another look down the line if I need to. This is my old lip glow, and I just got the new ones over there, and this one is a, it's basically gone. Um, so I am going to toss that as well, and also this one I believe is empty too. Don't try to sneak through. <laughs> it's trying to put itself in the drawer. So I very rarely use lip crayons, but for the times that I do, I really like this one. It's more of a mauve in particular. So I'm gonna keep the more mauve one. I'm gonna go ahead and toss the one that's more of like a sand color. And I will start my kind of 
area over there with lippies. I actually just got both of these YSL lippies from Sephora during the holiday season. They have the little star in there and they are super cute. So I'm going to keep both of these. They both look great on and are super moisturizing as well. So those are both keeps for me. And then the other things that I kind of see right off the top, I use this Tarte um, this is like a bronzer and I use this for contouring and I also use this Tarte highlighter. I use these basically every single day. So I'm going to put these down in the corner and this is the stunner that I showed earlier. Really, really nice. Also down in the top, there's a couple of Winky Lux items. I originally got these at Sephora, but you can get these at Target now. And I do have a bit left on both of these. They're just a really nice kind of pH lipstick. And I really like these pH lipsticks because they're moisturizing and they just give you a little bit of color without being too much. So I will keep both of those. This looks like it has seen better days. So I'm gonna set that over to the side to make sure um, I have that color. One of the colors has been discontinued. This is a ColourPop lipstick. This is from the Disney line. The color is Cinderella and it's a really pretty color, um, but I didn't love the consistency of these. I just, I loved them because they were Disney. The eyeshadow from this line um, was my favorite. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. And then this I actually got because it was in a set. I cannot remember where the set came from, but it's a mini shadow crayon and it was the best part of the set. I think it was a FabFitFun box. And I really, really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that as well because I do use that sometimes. There are a number of little mini eyeshadows in here. These are my two most used Urban Decay shadows. I use these every single day and I just got these from Sephora recently for Replenishment, Sin, and YDK. I also really like this ColourPop color, so I'm gonna put this over there. And these are two of my most used as well. This is another one of my daily use items. I use this powder to set my makeup with this brush. So those are actually both newer as well. So I'm gonna set this over here. And then these two Tarte shadows, I really, really love these. But you can see this one is gone. This one is Shakedown. And then this one is Poker Face. Poker Face I took and I traveled and it just went everywhere, but it's a really cool color. So I need to order another one of those, but that one's broken, so we're gonna toss that. Um, I use Maybelline eyeliner and I use it pretty much every day just on my top lid just for a little bit of definition. These are both newer, so I'm going to go ahead and save those as I will use those. Same thing with these Buxom glosses. These are all newer glosses that I picked out recently. This is Elizabeth, this is Sophia, and this is Jessica. Out of all of these, my favorite is Elizabeth. It's just a nice, light, shimmery color. So I'm going to go ahead and keep all of those. Some of my most used lippies. I have a couple Milani products down in here. This is a powder that I used, especially when I worked a lot, just to have like an extra powder in my purse and that sort of thing. I'm going to go ahead and just toss that because right now I only need one powder. We're not going out of the house anywhere. This is Romantic Rose. It's a Milani color. I actually really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and put it underneath my Tarte powder for just occasional use. This is an amazing cosmetics concealer. It's really, really great. This is in the light golden color. I really like this, but this has gotten older, and so I'm gonna toss this, and it needs to be replenished if I wanna use it again. Same thing with this. This was the jasmine color. Really super cute lipstick, but you can tell it's like not even hardly used. I just didn't really love the consistency of those. Here's a couple more lipsticks down here, so let's check these out. This one's from It Cosmetics. I just added this on recently to an order. I liked the consistency, but it was on clearance, and I, after I got it, I realized why. The color is not my favorite, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that too. And then this is a super cute color. I really like this for like a going out color. This is Happy. And the brand, I believe, is Laura Mercier, but it doesn't have the brand anywhere on the outside. So that's what that color looks like, and we're gonna save that because it's really unique. Then down in here, I also just got this Dior shadow. This is Dior Show. I'm gonna stick that down in there with my eye stuff. And then this is a brow pencil from It Cosmetics. I'm gonna stick that right there. 
This is an It Cosmetics brush. This is a really great brush. I use this a ton, but it's kind of worn out now and I've gotten a new brush, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss this. There are a number of brushes down in here, which I just ordered replenishment from It Cosmetics, so I'll end up replacing all of these when my new one gets here, or my new sets get here. But right now, these are the daily use brushes that I'm using all the time, so I'll go ahead and put those in there. And these I just kind of keep right here in the center. They don't all fit, but sometimes I just set them on the top like that. And that's how the powder gets everywhere. So this is a Dior Show Eyebrow Pencil, and I just got this from Sephora, so it should be about full. This is in the color, I think it's brown. I really like their brow styler. Um, it works really well, so I'm going to stick that next to that one. There are a couple more Disney shadows. Hi-ho and almost there. This almost there is almost gone, so I'm gonna toss that because I have this other one over here and stick all of the Disney shadows right there by each other. I've got one pencil sharpener for all of the pencils. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is a good color and kind of a good go-to item. It's got a little bit left in there. There's also this Naked Skin Concealer. Here is a stick foundation by Hourglass. That just gets occasional use for like touch-ups. Let's see with all these pencils what's down in here. So this is a Tarte concealer. This is probably my favorite concealer. It's a clay stick waterproof concealer and it goes on really easily and it blends really well. So I'm gonna stick that over there because that's a must keep. This is a Zoya color and Zoya is a nail polish company and somehow I ended up with some of their lipstick. Um, it's a really pretty color, but again, I'm really picky about my consistency, so I'm gonna toss that. This is a newer Amazing Cosmetics concealer. This is in the shade, I'm not sure it says anywhere, but I think it's in that same shade color. So this is the newer one. It says Fair Golden. This is the newer one, so we're going to keep this one. And then this is a lip thing from It Cosmetics. I actually like it. It's, again, like the pH bomb, just a different delivery, so I'm going to keep that. I obviously really like that pH bomb. <laughs> this is from um, that same kind of set that I think I got from FabFitFun, a mini brow pencil, but I like some of these other brow products I have better, so we're going to toss that in there. We're gonna set those brushes over there to the side because we're gonna talk about that in a little bit of a different way here. We're getting down to the bottom of it. So there is nothing left in the basket except for that Alice through the Looking Glass. And the this is the brush that goes through the Alice through the Looking Glass. This is Part of Your World. This is again from that ColourPop collection. Love, love, love this one. That was a really great shadow and I like how it goes on and everything. This is an older Buxom Gloss. I'm gonna toss that. This is It Cosmetics Under Eye Illumination. A little bit goes a long way. I don't know how I'm ever gonna use this up because you just have to put the tiniest bit in it. Covers everything. I have a couple of mascaras here other than that Dior Show one. These should all still be good. I've got Maybelline Colossal Lash and It Cosmetics Superhero that came with one of my orders. And then I also have this one. I love this one, the Colossal Volume Express. I mean, this one's Colossal, that one's Sensational. And this one is amazing with the leopard print. Definitely recommend that one. There is one regular Dior lipstick. I again really like that kind of bright, fun, punchy color when I'm gonna be wearing a little bit of lipstick. And then this is my favorite go-to blush for every single day. This is a It Cosmetics in Sugar Plum the ombre radiance, so I'm gonna put that over there with my cheek stuff. A couple of the little pads, I'm gonna wipe those off because they've got powder all over them. And these go on the eyelash curler. These eyelash curlers by Tweezerman are definitely worth the extra money. I curl my lashes every single day so they don't get in my eyes, and it works really, really well. So out of everything that's sitting here, just a couple more things to make decisions about. I just got this. I love beauty blenders and I love this color. So I'm gonna stick it over there so I can open it up. And then I also have this eyebrow pencil in light brown. I think this might be a gray that's been discontinued, but it's obviously older, so we'll toss that and keep this one. This is just a great basic one from Maybelline. 
And then this is an eyeliner, but I prefer the Maybelline ones actually, so we'll go ahead and toss that. This NARS blush I showed earlier is the Angelique. It's really unique. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then this blotting green tea paper is this for occasional use, and we will stick that down here at the back. So that is everything that needs to go in the drawer. Um, I guess this is actually, I think, almost gone. Maybe. Let me see. I can't tell whether this is almost gone or not. So I'm just gonna stick these down in there. And then you can see that I have pretty much all of my most used items right here. It's all a lot cleaner, it's a lot fresher, and it is easy to see what all I have down in there. So these are the two new lip glows that I just purchased. So I'm going to add those down in there as well. Let's see where I want those. Maybe right above, I wish they fit like right here. That would be so perfect. So we'll do one right there and one right there. That'll work. So then that leaves just a tiny little elephant in the room. <laughs> My makeup palette. So I really, really love Urban Decay. And I actually use these quite a bit, but I use particular colors out of them. Now this is a newer one that I have purchased as a replenishment. And I have used it quite a bit. I've actually dropped it on the floor a number of times, which is why the eyeshadow moves around. Um, so out of these, I use probably Naked 3 the most, and then the Naked one, which this is a newer one, I've had a couple of these as well, and then Naked 2. So I do actually use these and they are something that I, you know, grab to. If the colors are available like this, I have gone to just preferring to pick out the singles, but not all of them are available, unfortunately. This one I use the least, so I'm gonna go ahead and toss that. These two I would like to go ahead and keep. So I'm gonna try to see if I can make some room here and move some things around to where I can fit these in because I do use these a fair bit. And if there's just two of them, it actually works out better because they will fit in there a little bit better as well. So then this is all of my most used stuff. I'm trying to not have things doubled up, if possible. <laughs> and this is all of my new usable items right here in the drawer. Then let's talk about brushes. So actually, as we talk about brushes, I think that we're going to be able to take some of these back out because I got replacements for a number of these from It Cosmetics. So this brush is very unique from Tarte and this I need to keep. I use this every single day and it works fantastic with the powder. This is an angled brush and I do not right now have a replacement for this. This works really, really great with highlighters, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that as well. These three eyeshadow brushes I use every single day, but I actually just got replacements, which I will show those to you. And then same thing with this contouring brush. I think that there's one I'll be able to use for that. And then this, this NARS blush brush has seen better days. So I think all of these are gonna get tossed. So I just ordered these from It Cosmetics on a super after Christmas sale. And they came in these cute little cups and everything. So these eyeshadow brushes definitely replace all the eyeshadow brushes. So those can go for sure. And then I need a blush brush and a contouring brush. And so this will work great for blushing. And I think I can use this for contouring. And so I think both of these can go. These teddy bear brushes are great from Too Faced 2, but this has seen better days. So I actually have these in cups, and I would prefer to not set them back down in here. So let me show you what I have going on over here on the side of my van. So over here in my getting ready area, I have a number of Joe Malone perfumes, my most used being this Wild Bluebell, and I just got a replenishment for that. Disney Cruise Line Lotion, which I use every single day. And then a couple perfumes I mix and match with the Wild Blue Bell. And then I also have kind of my most used jewelry here accessible, kind of my most used HBA thing, some all-nighter spray, some hairspray and all of that. I can kind of go through this at a different time. 
But up here, what I wanted to share is I have these cups and I've had these cups for a really long time. If you used to watch my videos in Illinois, I think that's where these cups came from. And they really served a purpose. In Illinois, we had a smaller master bathroom. And so my makeup area was actually in my office at that house. And so I had like a little desk that I used to get ready and I used these to hold my brushes there in Illinois. So I'm gonna go through all of these. I think all of these brushes are gonna get thrown away. And so I'm gonna clean off the shelf up here. I think what I'm gonna do is move this up because I can reach like a perfume or whatever. I'm gonna try to move this around, throw away some of those boxes and then put my most used daily brushes right here and hopefully the it cosmetics brushes fit up there so let's grab them and see if they fit okay moment of truth it does just barely fit look at that that's amazing so i'm going to kind of work with this and kind of move things around clean these shelves off I think it's time to KonMari these and let these go. These have served their purpose for a really long time, but I'm obviously not using them and they have a lot of older brushes that just need to get thrown away. So I'm gonna clear these out, throw all of these older brushes away that are not getting used, clean off the shelves, clear out some of these boxes, just put my most used perfume like right here so I can grab it and then uh, make this a brush shelf. So up here, I just put the box that has the Wild Bluebell Cologne, which I'll start using once this one runs out, which will be shortly. And then I just put my different scents that I have here with my lotion that I use every day kind of tucked over there. Then this whole shelf is empty now, so I'm just gonna put these rose gold items up there. And that's all I'm gonna put on the shelf for right now. So there, those shelves cleared off quite a bit. And I also cleared off this shelf even though we're not doing jewelry today. That'll be its own separate video because I have a couple different jewelry on more our amber areas. Um, I did take this little shine ring thing. It was just holding my earrings and sometimes rings sitting there and I wanted to see what I think about this Hello Gorgeous one. Just as kind of a longer one where I can fit a couple different types of things. So I'm gonna test this out and just see what I think. I kind of keep my most used items um, in this little dish just because my jewelry armoire is in a different room at this house and it makes it kind of awkward to access things. So we'll try this out and see what I think and then when I tackle jewelry, we'll come back around to this one. Um, so there's my Mickey key necklace. So I am going to um, just kind of clear this up, but let's see. Let's see what it looks like with the larger one on here, but then there's no like jewelry sitting on the sides and stuff like that was what I was trying to avoid. So there is my shelf area. You can see it's cleared out just a little bit and we'll do some of those other shelves and other clear outs, but I definitely wanted to tackle those brushes because that was something that definitely is part of my makeup and this is more accessible. I really like these containers that came with these and it just looks a little bit neater. So here is the finished product of my makeup drawer and hopefully you guys enjoy coming along for this KonMari. We were able to get rid of a ton of stuff. There's a whole basket full of just products I'm getting rid of and old things down in here. So we got rid of a ton, cleared out a ton, and I think this is really nice and clean now, a lot more functional, and it has all of my favorite products in here, so it definitely brings me joy. So thanks for watching today. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you've worked on your makeup, what your favorites were, and what sparks joy for you in the makeup category. And I'll be back with more KonMari videos coming up very soon in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Yeah.